Hey YouTube, um, it's a Wonders Box here. My name is Ashley. Um, today's date is May 14th, 2015. If I ever at some point in this video say 2014 and I am talking about this day and age, um, this year, it's 2015. Just ignore me. Sometimes I feel like I haven't caught up to the fact that it's 2015. Um, it seems so futuristic. Um, I am going to be having Gastric Sleeve, the VSG, on May 25th. And um, I have watched hundreds and hundreds of hours of YouTube videos, my friends on the internet. Um, and I just thought that it's really unfair for me to want such a wealth of information and just be so thirsty to watch more and more videos and for me not to document my own um, experiences and my own journey and my own videos for other people who are going through it um, at the same time as I am so we can follow each other and other people in the future can learn from what I have to say now. My husband told me to go ahead and just start recording for myself and um, I thought no, I'll, I'll post. So I am on a pre-op diet right now. It's fairly easy. I, it's not only liquids. A lot of doctors I see put people on only liquids. Mine's not. It's high protein, low carb. And, um, then the last three days before my surgery, I will be on an only liquid diet, which is like water, broth, G2 Gatorade, protein shakes. And, um, so that's fairly simple. I mean, it's hard when I'm cooking for the family and then I have to watch them all eat macaroni and cheese or beans and rice. And I'm like, oh, yes, I'll have tuna again. Or, uh, let's do another chicken wrap. Um, but I can see it paying off. I started my pre-op diet on May 4th and I was 311.8. I have my notes down here, so you're not missing anything. I'm going to tell you everything that's on these notes, but, um. If I look down, that's what it is. I started my pre-op diet on May 4th, 311.8 pounds. And my current rate today on May 14th is, um, as of today, is 301.6. So in 10 days, I've lost 10.2 pounds. And um, it had like a three day stall where I was 305 and then like including yesterday and then I stepped on the scale today and it came off. And some people might say like, okay, well you're proving to yourself that you can do this diet, this high protein, low carb diet and that you can do it by yourself and I'm only 29 so people say like, oh you're just so young, like just like do it on your own. Well, I have done it on my own. I have lost weight before. And, um, I gain it back and I can see my future with me losing weight again and then gaining it back again and back and forth and back and forth. And I don't want that anymore. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be a tool to help me keep it off long term for the rest of my life. And I won't be able to binge eat the amount of food that I can currently eat. Uh -uh. And, um... Yeah, so, you know, I just, they, it's said, I don't remember who first said it, but people say it, I don't know, that if you keep doing something over and over again, you keep getting the same results, then you're crazy. Well, I guess I must be crazy because I've been doing this for eight years. I was thin all my life. I've had three kids. Each pregnancy, I gained more and more. I was really depressed after my first child. Long story, personal, whatever. Um, and I somehow got to like, you know, 311. My highest weight was 315 and that was like November of 2014 and I do mean 2014. Um, I was 315 and actually this last February 2015 I got down to 296, 295. So then I gained it back. And, um, I can see that pattern going back and forth, so I don't want to do that anymore. And I'm hoping that this will be a tool to kind of help me 
Mm, I'll do that. Um, and I'm fairly healthy right now. I have had recent doctor's appointments where I've had blood work done and ultrasounds and x-rays and other lab work done. And I don't have diabetes. I don't have pre-diabetes. I don't have a thyroid problem. I have no reason that I'm overweight other than the fact that I have gained weight. Like, it's my fault. I did it. I don't have a problem being this weight. It doesn't hold me back. I still wear two-piece bathing suits at the beach. I still go to the park and have fun and actually play with my kids. I run around. I don't let my weight hold me back like some people do. Um, I'm not embarrassed by it. I rarely get uncomfortable when I'm around other people. I don't have a lot of clothes and I look forward to being able to shop again and like wearing clothes. I mean, I pretty much love wearing sweatpants because they're comfortable. And I want to be in a, like, a nice pair of jeans. Or, um, I mean, I wear jeans. I wear jeans, but, you know, not as often, not around the house. So, anyways, I'm fairly healthy and I just, I'm not disillusioned to think that if I stay this way or if this history repeats itself as it usually does, that I will eventually be 325, 350, 400, who knows. And, um... I don't want that to happen. I don't want to have to get the surgery. I'd rather it be elective. I'd rather it be my decision. And um, my friend's mom had surgery today, weight loss surgery, because she was so overweight and her diabetes got out of control and she couldn't have, she didn't have feeling in her feet. She was starting to get gout. My dad had the same problem. He was overweight, had diabetes, started having problems ended up dying. So I don't want that to be my future. I was very um, scared of my dad being overweight when I was growing up and I don't want my kids. I have three kids. I don't want them to be scared of my weight while they're growing up. I don't want them to, you know, be fearful that something's going to happen to me because I'm un unhealthy. And right now I have a good foundation other than the fact that I'm overweight, so I'd rather do it now. And I am doing it with my brother. My brother decided to do the weight loss surgery before me. Um, he found the, our doctor. He did all the research. He was thinking about this for a very long time. He's talked to me about it, and then about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, he asked me if I would like to do the surgery with him. And it took me a couple of days to commit. But one of the things that I found on these YouTube videos is that a lot of people say the thing that they regret most about having weight loss surgery is that they didn't have it sooner. And I'm 29 years old. And I don't want a year from now, two years from now, for me to be saying, okay, I'm ready to have weight loss surgery when I'm in my 30s. It's going to be harder. It, it is harder with the older you get. I'd rather do it now. And I am going to have an extreme amount of help and support with my brother doing it with me. So that's going to be pretty amazing, actually. So... And I didn't have to research doctors. I didn't have to research where to go and who's who's good and who's not and any of that stuff. Because I kind of just jumped on the bandwagon with him and he called his surgeon and said, can we do it on the same day? And the surgeon said yes. And um, so there you go. I'm doing it with him. We are having surgery on May 25th in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Zavalza. Z-A-V-A-L-Z-A. And, um, he is amazing already. Um, the Skype dates that we've had, the, um, talking to my husband so that he was comfortable with who was going to give me surgery, he's just been fantastic. And we have a support group that the members started. I, I, one of the coordinators, her name is Lisa. She started it. Um, good job, Lisa. She started the Facebook page and so if you're looking for support and you're thinking about having bariatric surgery whether it be the sleeve or bypass or what have you um 
And if you're tentatively thinking about maybe even having it in Mexico, in Tijuana, the my doctor is Dr. Zavalza, and we have a support group, and it's called Dr. Zavalza and Dr. Luna Mexico Support Group. Dr. Luna is a nutritionist dietitian who um, helps us with all of our eating and like where we're supposed to be. And I've just met so many friends on this Facebook page, and I know that it's strange to say I've met friends, but I, I really have a connection with these people. We're going through something that is so special and so unique not everyone has this weight loss surgery with the same doctor and you you form a relationship with these people and they go into surgery and you're rooting for them and you want to know when they're getting out and then the doctor posts that they're out and then everything went well and then you get to kind of follow their journey and they answer the questions that we have and now there's people that are you know in june july august even october december behind me and they're asking me like what did you do on your pre-op or you know how long did it take for you to get on the calendar or and I feel like I can be there for other people and I have met people who are in my general area that's actually where I live who there's one girl she's fantastic and she's only going to be six weeks ahead of me on surgery she had her surgery like four weeks ago and I have, well, five weeks ago, about now. And I have, mm, anyways, when I have mine, she'll be like a month and a half out. And um, we're actually going to meet in person on Saturday. Go get some soup, because that's what we can eat. And, um, yeah, it's just been so great. I am, of course, scared that it's not going to work. But I can't have that fear. I feel like, well, nothing has worked so far, so... I don't know. I have joined Weight Watchers, and that works while I'm in Weight Watchers. The few months after Weight Watchers, I gain my weight back because I don't have that support. And this is going to allow me to not derail as much as I would normally would. If I have a bad day, I'm not going to be able to binge eat from all the different fast food restaurants that I want to. I'm not going to be able to physically eat that much, so it will help me get past my downtime my just my stalls without completely blowing it that way I can get refocused and not be 10 pounds heavier I mean yeah I could gain weight back I'm not I'm not thinking that I will never gain weight back I might fluctuate after goal but I'm hoping that this will be a tool to help me um long term anyways um, so that's Dr. Zavalza and Dr. Luna Mexico support group. And if you're thinking about having surgery, please, please just, um, you know, get somebody to add you or look us up and request to be added. It's such a great resource for people and support, especially if you're going at this alone. I can't imagine doing it alone because I'm going to have my brother. My sister also had weight loss surgery. She had the lap band um, almost two years ago. In June, it'll be two years, so in about another month. Um, but that's a different surgery. Um, this is unique because it's something that I'm going through with my brother. We're getting like 80% of our stomach cut out. I mean, that's a huge deal. But um, the thing that I found that's most frustrating with this pre-op diet is the protein. Because... Mm -hmm. They taste fine. I don't have a texture problem. They taste fine. I feel bad for people that do. I feel bad for people that don't like the, the taste of it. Um, it just gives me a lot of phlegm in the back of my throat, and that's severely annoying. I feel like I have to clear my throat just like a thousand times. And, you know, that's, that's annoying. But I would rather have phlegm in the back of my throat than have diabetes. So, uh, you know, you make your choices in life. So, that's about it. Um, I know that this video is going to be about 15 minutes long. I I like long videos, personally. I mean, I like the short ones, too, because they're, they're nice. It's just like, get it, get it on, get it done with. Um, but I listen to the long videos on my car ride. Sometimes I have to, like, go get the kids or go grocery shopping or whatever it is that I'm in the car. A lot of places around me take like 20 minutes to get to, so I'll put in a 15-20 minute video 
and listen to it while I drive, and I like it that way just because of that reason. Um, anyways, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you. And I hope that I'll be able to maybe post every couple weeks. Um, I've seen so many skin surgery, I mean not surgery, skin excess skin videos because that's my biggest fear with this is that I'm going to have tremendous amount of excess skin and that my husband will be less attractive to me than he is now. I mean, he says he's attracted to me and he's never said anything bad and he's just supportive and he's the ultimate, I mean the, like the ultimate husband. But I worry that maybe he won't be as attractive to me, like he won't know what I'm gonna look like and that I'm just gonna be droopy and nasty and but and I know that that like you don't look that bad with clothes on but hmm, he's gonna see me naked and I like wearing two pieces I like feeling sexy I'm only 29 like yeah I have three kids and I'm a stay-at-home mom and so like I'm definitely in the mom world but I'm not like I don't know, 80 like I don't want to be so conservative that people look at me and they think that I'm like in my 40s or 60s. So anyways, um, I think that if I lose 50 pounds and then 100 pounds and then like my goal weight at this point is 170, then like if I get to goal and stuff, I'll probably do skin videos. I, I, I see myself doing them, so stay tuned. We'll see if I can even get down to that weight. I mean, it sounds so insane and like in the realm of possibility now. Anyways, it's getting long. It's going to be 17 minutes. Sorry. But um, if you made it to the end, thank you. And hopefully you'll follow me, subscribe. You know, oops, subscribe only when I've like posted a few. I mean, you sure do it now, whatever. But um, when I've posted a few videos so that... Um, you can see if you like me. Hopefully you do. There's definitely, um, people that I like more than others on YouTube, so. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, and I will update you guys in a couple weeks. Bye.